Good morning, hot dogs. Picture retakes, PSATs, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, with liberty and justice for all. With the second quarter starting today, this Wednesday is parent-teacher conferences from 5 to 7 p.m., so parents, make sure to come out. Speaking of Wednesday, October 12th, all sophomores and some juniors will be taking the PSAT exam. If you have any questions about your location, ask an adult. If you are taking the exam, make sure you get a good night's sleep on Tuesday, eat a good breakfast, and arrive to school on time per usual. You will report directly to your testing location, not community. If you purchased and were unhappy with your picture package, please send your picture package to school with your student on retake day. Your retake picture package will be produced and shipped to the school four weeks after retake day. Please note, if your child is photographed on the original and retake picture days, the retake picture will replace the original picture in certain products like the yearbook. Students who were absent for picture day should come to school prepared to have their picture taken. If you have not pre-ordered, please use the retake order code 73745QF to place your order at interstate.com slash order. To see your order history, check your interstate account. Now, let's send it to sports and weather. Good morning, dogs. Last Friday, the Hot Dog football team battled an incredibly physical North Montgomery team. The offense struggled to find rhythm for most of the game, and the defense was put in some tough spots and forced to defend a short field. The coaching staff is very proud of our guys and the way they responded and battled to adversity. Garrick Burge had a big game receiving and letting kick returns, while Lalo Castillo added a touchdown pass, interception, and fumble recovery. The varsity ends their regular season at home for senior night this Friday against Crawfordsville. The JV will be on the road Saturday morning to close out their regular season as well. Next up, the girls cross country team ran their best meet of the season to finish seventh place at sectionals. Just three points behind sixth, Alexis Reed Gill qualified to move on to regionals for the third year in a row. And Ashley Vasquez Rivera led the Hot Dogs in 20th place to qualify with a 21-22 in the ninth fastest time in school history. The boys cross country team had by far their best team performance of this year to advance to the Harrison Regional as a team for back-to-back -back seasons. They were led by Chris Angeles in fifth place with a time of 16 minutes and 16 seconds, the seventh fast fastest time in school history. Lastly, if you're interested and riding the fan bus to the volleyball sectional at Benton Central, please pick up a permission slip at the bookstore. The cost to ride the bus is $5 and payable when you turn in your permission slip. You must turn the permission slip by Wednesday, October 12th at noon. We will need 30 students signed up by the deadline in order to have a fan bus. That's all. Now to Paloma with your weather. Good morning, dogs. For today's weather, it's going to be a chilly 41 degrees. The high for today is going to be 73 degrees and the low is going to be 41 degrees. That's it for today's weather. Now back to your host. Thanks, Abby. Now we're going to send it away again, but this time to Brian for a special segment on the swim team. What's up, dogs? We came across Coach Travis wandered around the halls. We also heard that he's the head coach for the swimming team. So we brought him in and asked a couple of questions. I'm a little bit nervous because, you know, taking over head position has a lot more responsibility. But this ain't my first rodeo. This is my fourth year coaching and my fifth year here and being involved with the team. I think I know what I'm doing. And I have no worries about actually being able to help the kids out there swimming. It's one of the strongest points. Only thing I would say is, you know, all the other stuff, like running the meet, working with the parents, all that good stuff's going to be to do. But everything else, smooth sailing. I think as we transition to a bit of a different team dynamic, it'd be easiest for them to have someone that they recognize taking the lead. But on top of that, I think there are a couple things, obviously, I want to change that watching the team for so many years, I think, would really benefit them. And kind of what I was talking about earlier with work hard but still be able to have fun. I think I want to be able to lead us in a direction where we're able to really come together as a team this year and have a little bit more fun and 
you know, bond a little bit more than I think we have been able to in previous years. And me being here and with the other coaching staff, I think that'd be really possible. My expectations is for them to, well, this sounds really general, but do better. Obviously, I'm not expecting to, you know, win conference this year because I'm newer at this. But at the same time, at the end of the day, if they're able to achieve their own personal goals through the season, able to improve their own times, feel better about how they swim and, well, swim better, then, yeah, I'd be very happy with how they do this year. Well, there you have it, dogs. The next meet will be here at home uh, facing against North Mont November 29th on Tuesday. This is Brian signing off. Thanks, Brian. Crash is having a fundraiser on October 28th from 5 to 8 p.m. at 61 West Washington Street. There will be plenty of fun activities, so make sure you go out and have some fun. A happy birthday goes out to Yesenia Nieves and Marlene Loza. For lunch today, lines 1 and 2 beef nachos, line 3 pasta with meat sauce slash breadstick, and line 4 French bread pizza. There's only five more days until fall break, so you better hang in there. That's all for today, hot dogs. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And have a marvelous Monday.